Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Star Control Origins. So, we'll be heading back to the drink and home world, but before we do that, I think it's time to make some upgrades to our ship. Especially since we have a lot of money, and actually the magma guy we got, the engineer, reduces the RU cost of everything at star bases and other shops by 25%. So this is the perfect moment to make some upgrades. Now, I was going to get the 30,000 hyperdrive, but we do have a pretty good hyperdrive, a 70% version, so I think it's best if we focus on other upgrades. Now, the first two things we should probably upgrade by now are the engine and the thruster. So, I don't think I want the precursor drive, because that's a little bit too expensive. But we could get a subspace drive. So, let's do that. Then we can upgrade the accelerator. Yeah, that's under 7000, that's okay. That will improve our turning speed and our battle acceleration. Then... Then we need to improve our toxic filters and maybe heat shields. So, since we don't have any more slots up here, we can remove some of these components and replace them with more powerful versions. Right now we are getting... how much? 25% per heat shield, so that's 100. And 20% per toxic filter. Okay, so let's remove all of them. We can also install Lander Armor Mark II, we got that for free from Salvage on one of the planets. Then we'll remove everything else. We can also sell our existing components. So that leaves us with 30,000. Let's see. I would like at least 100% heat resistance still. And we can get... Let's see. Corrosive protection. Plus 40%, that will cost us 11,000. Wow, 26,000 for a 60% version. Yeah, that's a little bit too expensive. But we could get this one, so that's 40%. Then use the toe we already have. Right? Well, the one we just bought is 40%. We could get 80% from free slots. Because I want to keep some money. Okay, we'll use this one, this one, and then the heat shields. So let's buy a better heat shield, and then we'll use the ones we already have. This one, that's 50%. Mark 3 is a little bit too expensive. But 4500 is reasonable. And then we'll use the two we already have. So this one, and this one. That's going to be 100 heat. And it's 60% toxic. They're actually 80% toxic. So that should be pretty nice. And I think that's going to be it. Anything else? We could get more crew, I suppose. Is there a better version of crew quarters or no? I don't think so, actually. There's a weapon amplifier, that would be nice. But that would leave us with like 3000. We could upgrade our deflector. No, that's not a terrible idea. We could buy a better one and sell the one we got. Or we could use them both. For now. 7500. We also got a fleet deflector. Provides minimal protection for the entire fleet. Yeah, I think I'd rather get a regular deflector. So this one, plus 20% damage resistance. Okay, let's get that. That leaves us with just under 7000. And now we could sell some of the modules we got. Now, I don't think we're going to need the really old drives. Like this one. It's only worth 1500, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to sell. I am keeping the lander cannon because we might still need that at some point. We can sell the heat shields and the toxic filter because there's no more space. So like that. I might just keep that drive for now, just in case. We can sell the Hawking Froster. And yeah, we can sell the Accelerator, that's fine. I don't think I'm going to use point defense, so might as well sell that. And the Nuke. I think the Motivator is an actual weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check really quick. I might test it at some point. Yeah, it's a weapon. 
activates a short range psychic field capable of demotivating the enemy and killing a small amount of them. Okay, that doesn't sound any more useful than what we got already. Okay, I think that's going to be it. We can still install some specials, but I don't think I want anything right now. We could get a hyperdrive accelerator. Maybe. Okay, sure, let's get a hyperdrive accelerator. That leaves us with just under 10,000. Seems reasonable. Anything else we want to sell? I'll keep the resources. Probably not going to need the rapid laser. We are definitely not going to need the M drive. We're probably not going to need the enforcer drive either, but let's keep that one. Just in case we want to be able to use the overmind drive. Because that's what we're using right now. The drive we got from overmind, this one. It is a 70% version. Alright, and that's going to be it, as far as our upgrades go. Now we are going back to the Jenkins homeworld. That should be interesting. Quite looking forward to that part. So, see you when we get there, or when we get intercepted. That was the system, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, we got intercepted. That should be pretty easy. Especially with our new upgrades. This is actually a pretty good test of our upgrades. Yeah, it's way better already. I can already see it's way better. So this guy should go down pretty easily, as long as we hit him. Yep, he will fly straight into that. And he's down. One more. We barely lost any crow. We lost like five guys, maybe? We can't actually see the exact number. Okay, get over here. I can't actually stop that black hole now, <laughs> after jumping. Okay, is he also going to jump? Yeah, well, sure, let's follow him. Fine by me. Get over here. This is taking a little bit longer than I thought it will. Let's just follow him the regular way. There, he's down. 1200 are you. And, well, let's continue then, shall we? And here we are. We will probably have to fight some fleet before actually arriving at the homeworld. Uh, yep, we are already getting intercepted. Fine by me. That shouldn't be a problem with our fancy new upgrades. I really like the black hole because you can also use it defensively. It's pretty damn good defensively, too. And it's really nice offensively. And then the dumb fire missiles can finish off anything the black hole isn't that good against. Like really large ships. The dumb fire missiles are way better against those. But against small, maneuverable ships, the black hole is better. Most of the time. Okay, yep, and he's almost down. Because he flew straight through our black hole. Yep, 1200. Alright then, we'll probably have to fight one of the carriers, but that's not really a problem. Looks like we lost a grand total of 12 crew. Oh, hi, another one. Okay, I don't think we can get away. Nope, probably not. Fine. Let's see if we can hit him with dumb fire missiles. Uh, yeah, we actually hit him once at least. Hey, get over here. One down. Okay, two more to go from the looks of it. Fine by me. Easy. One more. Come on, hit him at least once. <laughs> or maybe not. Fine, be that way. Here, that's better. That should do it. Yep, he's down. 1500 are you. Alright then, yeah, we will definitely have to fight the carrier. At least the one hanging around the actual planet. Yep, might as well just engage it. We'll have to fight it one way or the other. Fire at well. It will go down pretty quickly. I wanted to grab that green power up. 
Come on, give me that. Not quite what I was looking for. Okay, screw it, just kill it. Where are you guys going? Didn't quite hit him there. Oh, now I'm immobilized. We almost got him, though. There, we got him. 900. Okay, 174 crew. We might have to fight the other one, but maybe not. So, this should be an interesting conversation. Bro, the garbage vessel returns! You missed us. We've brought a Mankmak here to have a little chat with you. Yes, we will always gladly speak with another of our three eared peers. I'm sure you will. Be gone from our sight, foolish two eared one! You wait patiently while the Mankmak opens a channel with drink and command. Rock! That was surprising! There's also a scribe legged on your vessel! Oh, we had no idea! I am surprised and astonished. The scribe have instructed us that they require both the Drenkin and all other aliens to have four ears from now Wait, on. Wait, what? What the heck? Four? Oh, that damned Mekmak. You idiots didn't. This order is stupid, and that is the only time I can recall thinking that. But it is an order, so we will get more ears. Yeah, he already has four. The Mekmak fortunately have more they can sell us. But until we furnish yeah, the ears, we're all drinking everywhere, which the Mankmaks say could take some time, we will stop killing two-eared species, and zero-eared species, and etc, etc. Okay then. Well, whatever works. Tell them okay. We've stopped the drinking attacks. That's some solid four-eared thinking, drinking. There was another order. Oh really? The scribe Leggett also ordered us to give you a new hyperdrive. Okay. You could lash to your impossibly primitive vessel. Well, that's useful. He has also ordered us to pity you. Yeah, maybe we'll pass on that Take part. Take it and be less pathetic, two-eared one. We will take it, but refuse to be less pathetic. <laughs> oh, it's the enforcer drive, so it's not any better than what we have. You first, four ears. Rock. Is there anything else to it, one? No, probably not. Good rock to we'll you, be two going. one. Well then, that was that. So now we should probably go back to the bouquet and deliver the news. I'm sure they will be excited. And then I think we'll go to PI3 Orioni's system. Because there's something there. We'll find out what it is. So, see you when we get to the bouquet. So, here we are. Let's have a chat, shall we? Many playful splashes, Federation members. We have good news. The Drenkent have finally stopped attacking our ships. Yes, we know. And colonies. And also other people. Thanks to who? Whatever you did. Well done. Happy to have helped. You owe us now, Muke. Maybe two or three, actually. What? Thank you again. You better. Uh, wait, what? We already did the trial. Oh, also, we found the locations of some more planets. Who? So that will be some Arios. You did? Let's have a look. This is delightful. Please accept the small token of gratitude as a reward for your assistance. Here, 4,000. Enjoy the new fish. Is there anything else? Well, I think we're done here. Take care, Federation member. Alright, so now I think we'll be heading to PI3 Orionis. And I might just grab some more crow from Earth on the way. And see if they have anything new to say. We can always use full crow. So, see you when we get there. Unless there's something interesting happening on Earth. So, here we are, in the PI3 Orionis system. Let's see what this is all about. There's clearly something happening in here. What are these? Oh yeah, Greek rocks. Okay. Can we have a chat with them? Hello. Okay. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What? Okay. <laughs> 
Can you speak up? And also better. Yeah, figure out some way to speak with them, okay. Well then, for now we'll be fighting with them, apparently. Oh, the black hole should be amazing against this. Okay. Die, space fish. Get over here. Are you going down yet? They're not dead yet. They're about to be. Maybe. They are actually more resistant than I thought they will be, okay. Yeah, kinda hard to hit them with Dumbfire Missiles. Black Hole will be a little bit better than that. There, 900 no are yours. No one can talk to those space fish, Captain. But I've always thought that there were patterns in their singing. I think we might be able to rig up a translation system if we can gather some more data. Okay. Oh, and it's the friend of guy. Rampaging through my kin. What is left to say, humans? <laughs> Not too much. Time to die, Xanti. The worst that I heard. Well then, if their ships didn't improve, this is going to be a very short engagement. Okay, black hole will be a little bit better against this. He is already down. Okay, so there's PI3 Orionis. Is there anything here? A PI3 Orionis 2. Alright, do they have anything around one of these planets? Like a homeworld? PI3 Orionis 1. Nothing here. At least nothing of interest. Oh, here. Ancient one. Oh, these guys are the ancient one. Okay. So, the ancient one is supposed to be destroying the Mankmax homewards. That's why they keep moving. Okay, interesting. Alright, we'll have to fight them, I guess. Sure. Alright, no problem. I guess we'll have to do this a few times. They are pretty quick. Die, space fish. Get over here. Yeah, these are a little bit awkward to fight. But we're doing damage. Come on. Wait, are they regenerating? They are actually regenerating. Oh, so that's what's going on. Well, now they are dead. That didn't help them a whole lot. One more? I don't want the moon. Well, Captain, unless there's something interesting, there actually is. Homeworld. Apparently due to space beast related circumstances, they have had to reload. <laughs> okay. We can now find them in the beta link system. That's hilarious. All right, let's check what this is all about. Oh, hi. That doesn't look very friendly. Let's maybe avoid that. Sounds like a good idea to me. So, the beacon. Not seeing anything just yet. Well, there's supposed to be something. No, nothing? Oh yeah, there it is. Alright then. Let's take a look. Come on. I can't investigate that. Oh, there we go. No? Apparently due to yes, space we know this already. But I can't investigate the beacon. Captain, we received a message from the Yes, Mac we know this. Captain, we received a message from the Alright then, well, I guess that's from the beacon or something? I don't know. I can't actually investigate. Captain, like there's an option to investigate, but I can't actually do that. Alright. Well, let's kill one more of these dudes. Get over here. If you say so. Alright. Well, let's fight in that case. We have to kill them quickly before they regenerate, I guess. That regeneration might get a little bit annoying. There, done. 173 crow. Can we talk with them yet? No? Okay then. 
That should be enough data now. Okay, good. There we go. Here are song metal vessel. Your kind is not permitted within sight of the ancient one. Well, we're already here. You look friendly. We come in peace. Metal vessels never approach us in peace. Well, we don't. Turn back now, before we are forced to defend the Ancient One. Yeah, you haven't done a very good job so far. We're not the metal vessel itself, we're humans. We live inside it. In our song, it is easier to treat you as a creature of metal. If you cannot exist in space, you might as well not exist. Okay. Enough preamble. What do you want, metal vessel? Well, what do you want? Why are you attacking the Pinty? Because they attacked the Ancient One! Okay. Not long ago, a Pinty comet ship slammed into its surface. We know the Pinty. They have attacked others this way. But they were no match for the Ancient One's immune system. For our home is powerful and hardy. Still, we can take no chances with the health of the Ancient One. We will destroy the Pinty wherever they appear. Okay. Why did the Pinty attack the Ancient One? We have no idea. The Pinty are living weapons. They attack. It is all they know. Okay. Have they only attacked once? So far. Can we see the Pinty ship which attacked you? <laughs> you think you will find clues we have not? You think your sensor's better than ours? Your brain's larger? Yeah, maybe. If we could. Have tiny brains. <laughs> there, we said it. Okay, whatever. We don't think they did it. We want to know who did. We just want to know why they're attacking you. You are unusual. You sing with none of the condescension of other metal vessels. We will cooperate with you. Okay we then. Regularly clean and scour the surface of the ancient one. Placing foreign objects and waste on a nearby world. The remains of the Pinty ship will be on such a world in the Alpha Gladius system. Alright. Be quick. We know what to do. We'll be extremely quick. <laughs> Is there anything else, Metal Vessel? You must leave soon. Well, the Mechmax say the Ancient One keeps eating their homeward. Yes. <laughs> okay. They have stolen the Ancient One's egg. Oh, I see. So he is now trying to get it back by eating their homes. Isn't nature wonderful? Yes, it's wonderful. What is the Ancient One's egg? <laughs> it is an egg laid by the Ancient One. Well, duh. Is this too complicated for you, Metal Vessel? Yes, clearly complicated. In the next turning of this galaxy's great spiral arms, a new Ancient One will emerge from it. Until then, the Ancient One must protect it from harm. This is why he pursues the Mankback. He will continue devouring their worlds until they return it. Okay. Makes sense. Just out of curiosity, what would you call a new ancient one? Do not mock us, metal vessel! <laughs> well, it was a serious question, come on! I want to know the answer. Why did the Mekmak take the egg? We do not know. Even for metal vessels, the Mekmak are full of deceit. Yeah, we noticed that. that. finished their crime and flew away, we sang a call, begging for an explanation. They did not sing a response. All we heard was cackling. You don't seem that worried about it. We are not concerned. The egg would be invulnerable to their simple weapons. Okay. But the Ancient One doesn't know that, and we will not tell him. Okay. Well... Can you stop the Ancient One? We cannot, and we will not. The planets the Megmax settle on have very nutritious atmospheres. So it does the Ancient One much good when he devours their homes. Okay. Also, we don't like them very much. Yeah, I guess so, that's much. So, a few reasons. Maybe we'll go talk to the Mekmak about that. Yes, talk! Go have one of those cacophonous conversations you metal vessels so love. I guess we'll be going be then. Be gone, metal vessel. We'll be back though. So, that was certainly an interesting conversation. <laughs> Not quite what I expected the system to be. Right, let's check where that first planet is. Whatever the name was. Let's take a look. Alpha Gladius A. Okay then. Where is that? Over here. And that's not too bad. We don't even have to move to a different starbase. We should probably go get some fuel. Well, we could jump to this one. It will be a little bit closer.
We could also go have a chat with the Mink Monk first. So, how about we go have a chat with the Mink Monk? And then we'll go to Alpha Gladius. Where was their current system? I have to check. Well, in any case, see you when I get there. In more bad news, Captain. This drive have just taken control of the 61 Sydney A system. Okay, something is happening. Which means we're getting closer to Earth. Antiwomia for that matter. Yeah, that's probably not so good. Anyway, I'm going to buy some fuel really quick. I just wanted to show you what he was talking about. And then we're going to Beta Link system. Because that's where the new Mankmak homeworld is. So again, see you when I get there. Alright, here we are. Should be an interesting conversation. <laughs> like 99% of them in this game. New, 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 whatever, Mankmak. Yeah. Good name for a planet. But at this rate, they won't be keeping it very long. Welcome back, aliens in the garbage sheep! Hi, our ship is pretty good now. The Greek rock said you stole an egg of theirs. Oh, sure, sure. The, the egg we took. What of it? That might be why the Ancient One keeps destroying your homeworld. You could do it. Didn't mention that before, did you? Yes, we didn't, no. No, you did not. Why did you steal the egg? I don't even understand the question. Why would we, uh... Something's not translating. <laughs> <laughs> Taking other people's stuff is wrong. You don't have a word for stealing. What? Just getting static over here, human. Can you give the egg back? <laughs> I guess not. Mm, no. We don't give anything away for free. Yeah, I you thought could, so. You uh, could buy it from us if you want it. 40,000 on I'm not you. giving you 40,000. I don't even have 40,000. It is pretty shocking, isn't it? The cheek of us. Well, if you want him to just keep eating your homeward, then whatever. Can we see the egg? Also no. We don't even keep it here. We thought if we moved it to some other system, the Ancient One would leave us alone. No, it would not. No good. The Ancient One isn't lured by the egg so much as by his hatred for us, specifically. So the egg's still in our secret egg storage facility okay. in That's the Theta super Prior secret, all right. system. Which is an odd thing for me to mention out loud. Now then, if we're done talking about our various misdeeds... Is there anything else, garbage ship rider? Well, I guess we'll be going. I won't be buying anything from them right now. See you later, garbage. We know where to go. Let's check where that system is. What was it called again? Theta Priapos. I'm not giving them forty thousand. Screw that. It's not too far away. We could go check it out. Yeah, you know what? Let's go check that out first. And see you when we get there. Well, here we are. Let's save 40,000, shall we? Because I have no intention of giving them 40,000. Wait, why are the Greek rogues here? <laughs> Should be interesting. That is the correct system, so... Well... Only one Captain, planet in here. We received a message from the Mi'kmaq homeworld. Apparently, what, due again? to space beast-related circumstances, they have okay. had to relocate. We can now find them in the Alpha Moose system. If you say so. So the facility. It's right here. Well, in that case, let's land. Could it really be that simple? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe. Okay, there are some Captain, hostiles it's here. Too dangerous entering this place until all these really? Are down. Oh, we have to shoot them. But I don't even have my laser installed. Right, I would have to go back and change my gear. Because we do have the weapon, but it's not currently installed. I might come back later then. So how about we go check out that other system? Which one was it? Yeah, this one, Alpha Gladius A. We should go check that out, actually. 
All right, see you when I get there. Hello, this starbase created by Exception. Okay, looks like we found a new starbase, actually. Well then, your components are valuable, nice. Tell us a fun fact. That seems a little low. I said more. The fact is factual. Indeed, you're not wrong. Well then, we could install that laser. So how about that? First, let's buy some fuel. Definitely a good idea. Now, thing is, I would have to swap something. Like atmospheric stabilizers. We could do that for now. We do have Lander Armor Mark II. So... I guess so. Lander Cannon. Sure, alright, let's do that. Here. And now, let's check that Gladius system. Where is this starbase exactly? Right here. Okay, interesting. We are actually right next to our destination. Well then. Let's go and take a look. That is literally the next system, right next to the starbase. Let's see what's going on here. We'll check the planets. Do we know which planet exactly it is? Let's count this one first. Nothing going on here, so do we know which planet exactly we're looking for? And no, we do not. Okay, we just know it's going to be one of these planets. Also, we are still looking for 23 francium exactly. Hopefully we'll find some. Then we can go back to star control. First, let's check the planets. I bet it's going to be on the last one I check. That wouldn't surprise me too much. So, next. Anything? No. Nothing. Yep, it's going to be literally the last planet we check. I think that's actually the last planet right now. No, there's one more down here. So, anything? Yep, there's something down here. Okay, that's a lot of unidentified objects. Sure, let's take a look. Should be interesting. So... It's like a crashed Mac ship here, Captain. Definitely not a Pinty ship, though. That must be somewhere else. Okay, it's going to be one of the crashed ships. In before is the last one. Got another crashed Mac okay. ship here, Captain. Definitely not a Not super ship. useful. That must be somewhere else. Not sure if it's safe to go through that, but alright. It seems fine. Crashed Mac -Mac ship here, Captain. Yep, Mac Mac again. Not a ship, though. Yeah, you already that said that. Else. Hey, wait. There's something here? Captain, we found something oh, yep, here. There we go. It's a comet or other small KBO rigged up to look like a Pinty ship. Green mist generators, styrofoam, mold growths. Our sensors aren't detecting a trace of the Pinty. The engines are real, though. And there's a primitive navigation system, all encrypted. The folks back on Earth might be able to help decipher this. Okay, then. So, I think we're done down here. There are more ships, but... I bet they are all Mankmak. This is what we were looking like for. What's this? Bomber here, Captain. Okay. Definitely not a Pinty ship, though. That must be somewhere else. Yeah, I don't think there's anything useful here other than that Pinty ship. Let's check the last one and then we'll just go. Yeah, we already checked this one. Alright, time to leave. We got what we were looking for. There's one last unidentified object, but it's definitely nothing useful. So, looks like we'll be going back to Earth now. We found a fake-looking painted ship on the surface of a kind of a smelly ward in Grigrog space. It apparently attacked the ancient one, but we should first check with Earth to see if they can analyze its navigational data. Alright then, and I might go back to that system with the facility. 
But that will all be happening in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.